All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 18 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Anthony Lionheart Smith. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Alright, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, do not fall. You ready? Are you ready? Watch right, so the fight is on the way. We'll see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas. And Really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen out of oh. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the guy. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big ball to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Head kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, missed on that one. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Three minutes to go. 
Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Lands flush with that right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice kick. Left-right combo is good. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Two minutes to go here in round one. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Wow, what a kick! So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Okay, you ready, round two, ready? Here we are, early round two. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Great punch. Nice hook lance. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Able to check that kick as well. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Nice punch lands over the top. There, huge block for him. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his strong. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. No, actually, oh. goes to an inverted triangle to try to get the finish. Nicely done. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the 
top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, collar tie. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh man, this is one thing you you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast. Sometimes you don't see it coming. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. you Let's ready? see what type of effect you it ready? takes on his yeah. offensive approach as the next round starts. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. Nice one, two there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, Sue's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Yeah, looks a little wobbly. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! Oh, straight right! Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Goes back to that left kick once again. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Beautiful punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, single collar tie here. There's no tell on that leg kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they show. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, 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 oh. What a round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Nice. That was perfect. Good round. He's rocked. He's still rocked, all right? He's ready to be finished in this next round, all right? All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly Match. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt? Big knee to the body. 
Muay Thai Club. Oh! Lee's shot there is blocked. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Just over three minutes to go now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Whoa! Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pop. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes, oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain, just go for the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Gets up again here, but hurting. Horn sounds for the end of round four. A lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Folks, fifth and final round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Huge elbow there. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Able to check the high kick. Over and over. Again. Big body man. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. Oh! oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to oh! take that finish down. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano's call to stop for this contest at 57 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Lugliano!